Hello all my uh, Facebook, YouTube fans out there. Hello all my friends. Uh, it's me, Young Leo. Um, how you guys doing? Today is June the 20, 20th. And uh, uh, I have a few things to announce and tell you guys all my friends, my fans, uh, Facebook friend and uh, YouTube fans and follower, subscribers and uh, all the people who follow me uh, up until this point, up until now. Um, I know I haven't really like post any uh, anything lately, like make any posts on Facebook or YouTube, uh, find up my channel, but. Um, I just, you know, I just happened to have the time today to uh, make this uh, video for my channel to post and let you guys know and update uh, what, I, what I've been through and uh, up until today. Um, there's a few things uh, I've been through. I have a few problems uh, lately um, uh, that I like, I want to share and uh, tell you guys. Uh, how my life is and up until this point I've been to like like a tragedy during the past month or two um, I have been to accident and just a lot of bad things happening this year is not um, this year is not my year it's been a bad year for me um, as far as uh, work well work is okay it's alright but as far as like just the living period like I have you know like my entertainment life and all that it's, it's not been so great um, and uh, my life is like up until this point I've been into like two accidents in a row two accidents within a month so from the last month to now I have been into two accidents and these accidents almost killed me uh, almost killed me alive you know like it was really crazy and I want to come up here to share and let you guys know what's happening um, at this point um, I know I haven't really posted anything uh, for the past couple of weeks or months uh, I have a lot of videos I need to edit before I post it up and some pictures too but uh, it's just you know time just caught me back and I haven't really posted anything during the past videos and I, now I have to make this video to kind of complete and updated you know what what's going on with me so far up until now um, so I have to make this video to update you know even though I have other videos that I need to edit and update it to but I just have to have make, make this videos uh, for now um, you know uh, just to let you guys know uh, what's going on with my life and uh, you know uh, so let's see where I was started um, so last month I've been to this like a, 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 a music festival uh, at the temple and uh, I've been into an incident like I was there for like an hour or two getting ready to like for the entertainment singing with the band and everything getting ready you know helping the bands and helping the people all you know while I was there just to get ready for the music the live music and all that um, and just about an hour or two when I was sitting down you know from working you know helping them and there's like a kill there's a lot of killer bees around me um, it was flying around I don't know who who hit the nets or who trying to mess up their nets or whatever but the killer bees just keep flying around but those are like honey bees they're small but like they're yellow they look like yellow jacket and it's just like really killer killer bees so it stung me in the back and you know I don't know how many stung me it was like 
it was like a, a whole lot of bees, you know, flying around. So I don't know how many bees stung me, but when it stung me, I didn't feel anything at all until like another 15, 30 minutes. I feel a little itchy in the back, so I scratch it. And the next thing you know, you know, because the weather is hot too. And I was, I didn't really drink that much and I didn't get enough eating for the last day or so. So it was hot and then I was scratching a little bit and by the time I know another 15 minutes or so, I, I scratched that part. It wasn't hurt or anything when it, uh, when it stung me. So it's just a little, it was, uh, it was a little itchy. So I scratched for a little bit. And then next thing I know is my face and my body, everything is swollen. Like I have like a bad allergies. And I thought I had some type of allergies because I do have like allergies too um from the last few years i don't know why my body you know just have allergies lately and so i didn't really have like bad allergies like that and the kill bees got me and i thought i would step in some kind of plants or somewhere in the forest or something or some leaves got me into it that's why like my whole body was itchy and it swole up like you know like a lot of pimples you know like just bad allergies all red and like you know it just swole up and my face my mouth and my eyes and all my face was like big and swole up and I thought like my lips were like literally swole up I thought you know at that point I don't even know what happened either I had some type of poison got into me or killer bees stung me I don't know so after that i kind of figured out why because i was scratching where the bee was like surround me and kind of stung me but i didn't really know until later when i got into the car and i was so tired and like i feel dizzy and all that like you know it's just hot and i feel like sick after that and i went to the restroom i was trying to wash my face but i looked at my face in the mirror it was like swollen up big and I was scared and afraid to wash it with the water. So I didn't wash it real good. And I told the people there, you know, you know, all this happening, killer bees got me or whatever. They told me to go, you know, either to a clinic or go out there to get some medicine, like Benadryl medicine, because I didn't bring any allergy medicine with me at that time. There's people there that has allergies, but I didn't ask them because I was just in a hurry and I just, you know, drove out of that temple and then went to Ecker, uh, Red A or somewhere to try to buy Benadryl or allergy, um, allergies uh, pills. <laughs> so I went and got some Benadryl and I took two and it was getting worse, you know, like I was just, I didn't, like the feeling was really bad. Like I feel like, you know, it's got me so bad to the point because I was driving and it's windy and it's even feel worse when it's windy, you know. And I just feel like dying at that time. And I just know that I, I had my phone at that time, my smartphone, and I just know that I'm gonna look for a clinic or a hospital or emergency place to go there and just let them check it out. And I finally found a place because it's like Saturday or Sunday weekend. It's like on a weekend and it's like around five or six o'clock. At that time, a lot of clinic, they closed, you know. Only hospital, like big hospital, they are open. But I was all the way on the other country to the side, up north. Like, it's like 45 an hour minutes away from my house. And I finally find a clinic that was still open. It's around my area, um, uh, the Carolina Medical Center. And so it was one there, you know, it was one, that one clinic there. And I drove there, I immediately ran into the clinic, you know, and I didn't really have the time to like, I mean, I finally find a clinic. So I ran there as soon as possible. And I got kind of lost too when I was driving around. And it took me like an hour or so to get to the clinic. It was awful, guy. It was like complete awful disaster for me. And I finally got to the clinic and I had to wait in line, you know, to sign in and all that. I didn't even have to, I didn't even like have the energy to stand there and, you know, sign in. So I sat back and then at the chair in the clinic. After I sat back, I feel like, you know, 
my head is just blacked out, like, and it feels really, really hard, like, to the point that I can't even stand it, you know, like, it feels like you're gonna die in a minute or so, like, everything just swelled up, and just, the feeling is just worst feeling ever, like, if you experience something like this, you know, you, you, you think you're gonna die, because it, 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 like, all your blood pressure just rise up into your head, and it's just, like, black out, you know, like, it's pressuring you to black out, and I thought I was gone, I thought I was gone at that moment, and as soon as I lay back, I just throw all out right there at the clinic, and it's like, I had to let it all out, because everything I eat from that day or on, everything just gone out, and it's like, it was like the worst experience ever, like, the worst nightmare, or you know, for me, at that time, because I was just splattered everywhere, right there at the clinic, and people were just afraid of me, they just ran over here and ran over there, some people called the doctor, some people called, you know, the, the nurse, they called the nurse, and uh, next thing I know, is like my eyes rolling, like I was sleeping, going to sleep or whatever, and I just feel real tired, and uh, Finally, the nurse or the doctor got the handicapped chair and just got me into the bed, into the clinic room. Uh, and they gave me, right away, they gave me an epic shot right in my thigh. Uh, that epic shot is is to control when the killer bees, you know, sting you. And when you got, like, bad allergy with the killer bees. Now, after the epic shot, they'll give me uh, another shot of something and they give me like a, a couple of pills of steroids and uh, Zyrtax and you know allergy medicine they give me like six of it and I have to drink all that at once uh, they give me the epi shot at first and they give me another uh, like an allergy or emergency shot or something like that I forgot but it was like one on my thigh and one on my arm that's what the shot was I forgot what the, sh the other shot was, but, and then I stayed there for like an hour, but during that time, they called emergency, like they called the ambulance, the ambulance came to them, came and asked me if I want, you know, if I want to go get into the ambulance uh, vehicle and go uptown, go to a big hospital and stay there for like overnight or so. At that time, I already know if I'm going to go, it's going to be another big bills, okay? Because it's already a big bill for me to go to emergency, emergency like that, you know. And uh, I got the bill already. Um, but luckily, I didn't went, I didn't go up to the, uh, the ambulance uh, car, you know, and go uptown. That would give me another big bill. It's like another couple thousand or something. But the bill I had at the emergency there for the killer bees that got me is like 600 And I already got the bill. But uh, at that time, I forgot to tell them that I had like a Medicaid card, which I had like Medicaid like this year too, uh, from my worker. And it's not like a it's not like a complete Medicaid, you know. So that Medicaid card I had was like a family thing, and I don't think it'll cover for me like emergency things or whatever. So so the bill is like six hundred dollar when they sent to me. But they say that, you know, after I told them about the Medicaid thing, they say that they'll, uh, they'll see what they can do, like contact the Medicaid uh, insurance and then see if they can lower the bill or whatever. But I doubt they're going to lower the bill. And I hope they can lower, lower the bill too if they can, like from 600 to like 300 or 200 or 400 You know, that really is going to help me too. So, I mean... The hospital will able to let you make payment too, so I can make payments too. If you know, if the bill was too high, I can make like minimum payment up to a year or two or whatever. But uh, but that's something. That's an accident that I don't really want. Like no one wants it, and it's because that I hang out, I go out outside, and that's why. I wasn't really careful because when bees surround me, I was like, you know, I don't care. Like, it's not going to bite me. I thought, like, it's just little bees. It's not going to do anything. But at that time, I had my sunglasses on. That's why I didn't really care about the bees thing. I was just 
I didn't know, you know, like I couldn't see the bees like that, so I wouldn't really care about the bees like sting me or not. So that's why I got stung because of my care carelessness. So I learned a lesson from that a lot, guys. Like that was one of the big lessons that I learned because I almost died from it. So now I know that I have bad allergies with with killer bees like yellow jacket or honey bees. Those are like my 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 enemies, my worst enemy, you know. So now I know I'm really allergic to bees. So whenever I see bees, I don't care any kind of bees, wasps, hornets, or whatever, I'm gonna have to run away. That's the best thing to do is run away or you know get away from it, you know, as as soon as possible. Don't let it come near me, you know. So that was one of the lesson, pretty good lesson that I learned. But not yet, guys. Like right, like after that, within the month, like the next month, like until now, just a couple of days ago, I have another accident. And guys, it was one of the worst accident too. This time the accident like made me bleed. I'll tell you the whole story uh, during this video so I can combine this video into two uh, accidents that I had um, to upload on YouTube and Facebook. Um, the accident went like this. It was a day that I was, I was working that day. I was working that whole day. And when I was working, as you guys know, uh, I'm a chef too, so I cook at places. I, I cook at big places. Uh, that day I cooked at uh, it was Microsoft was the other day. That day I was cooking at Charter Communication. Yeah, I cooked there for like a day. I mean, I was a chef there a day, and my people, like my parents, called me at home and say that the uh, the AC went out. So I was like, okay, the AC went out. Then we'll call them when I get back, or tomorrow we'll call them. So the the, the at the house didn't have any AC. It was hot, you know. And it was humidity, and that day it was gonna rain too. And I went home from work, and the house ha has no AC, and it was hot and humidity, and it was about to rain too. It was like windy, and it's about to rain. And at that time, I know when I'm home, you know, I should have go rest first, but I didn't. I choose to go into my studio room, my, you know, my studio room. I used to work in there, like this right here. This is the studio room. I used to work in here all the time. As soon as I got home, I go, I, I sit straight right here and work on my computer. And then next thing I know is my room is it's like a spare room. So I made this room and it has an attic and it doesn't have any AC component or whatsoever. The only thing I can do is open the door out because I have two doors, a glass door right here and a door right here and a window and uh, and the attic. So it seems like I have four doors, or oh, actually five doors, five things, you know, I can expand out so wind can come in. So I won't feel so hot because it's humidity in here, you know. So then usually I open the window or open the door out, but there's no AC. So I either have to open the door, open all the door out, and then drop the attic down, right? So that day, I dropped the attic down to get some airflow within my room. And I think I was tired or something. I opened the attic down, and the attic's like right on top of my head, okay? And that's sitting right here. And I was working on the computer for like a few minutes or so. And, you know... I forgot. You know, when you work on here, you forgot what you do uh, minutes ago. I forgot that I dropped down the attic a minute ago, and the attic was like, the attic is right here, and I dropped it down to like right here. And you know how the attic, it has like two, the attic have a stairway, and the end of the, the ends of the wood, it has the two corner, and those corner are, are sharp, guys, you know, if you know what I'm talking about. So the corner is like, you know, two corner. The corner, one corner is like this, and the other corner is like this. And it's wood, and it's heavy too, and it's pointy too. And you know what, guys? I stood up, and I stood up real quick, and it was behind me, on top of me. 
I stood up real quick like this, and bam, it hit right on the side of my head, on the top of my head. Oh my God, at that time, I was just holding my head, and because I was hitting the corner of it, and because I stand up, I stood up so quickly and fast, like I'm gonna get out the the, the door, you know. I'm, I was gonna stood up real fast and go out the door, and bam, I hit it. I hit it real hard too, and like I I feel my head, and I feel like there's a a hole on it, you know, a big hole, and I know it's gonna bleed after that. But it wasn't a hole. I feel a big hole, but it's, it wasn't a hole. It was like a big cut. Like someone sliced, used a knife and sliced on my forehead. Okay? So I hold my head and I feel bad. You know, next thing I know, there was blood coming out. And that time I know I hit my head real hard too. <laughs> Having a big cut. Okay? It's like a big cut. Luckily, it didn't leave a big hole because I hit it like I thought I hit. I thought I made a big hole, but really it's like a big cut. It got me like on the side of my head, you know. And here it is. Let me let me let me show you guys the score. The score is pretty long too. It's two inches long. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me turn up the light here. See that? It's two inches long, guys. Okay, it's long. And I end up having six stitches. Let me see if you guys can see it better like this. See that? I end up having six stitches on my forehead right there. And I don't know, I don't know if you guys can see it, but probably upload the, uh, the picture too. Hope you guys can see it. Let me show you guys again. It's right here. See that? It's six stitches guys that the doctor gave me the stitches staple on my head forehead so as soon as that happened i ran out and yelled and my people were like okay they got me some you know band-aids and cotton and all that cotton ball and all that to hold the blood you know because i was kind of washed the blood off of my face because it was just all all around my forehead all up in my face all in my eyes and all that. It was a lot of blood, okay? Oh my God. I ran out to the sink and kind of washed it, but I know I don't want to wash that whole area, you know, that cut. I don't want to wash that because when water gets in, it might, you know, it might, it might be a bad thing. You don't want water to get into your blood and the cut that's just cut, okay? So, so my people, my parents called, tell, told me to like go to emergency, like don't matter, you know. I know the bill is gonna be big, but I have to go to the emergency. There's nothing they can do now. I mean, if I stay home to try to heal that that score up, it's gonna. You never know what happened. It might be infected or whatever, you know. It might be infected or you know, it might be worse because water, blood keep coming out, you know. So. I had to run and gather all the things, and it was raining hard too. And I'll tell you, right before that, it was raining hard, windy outside, and I was trying to run outside to cover things on the outside for my work and all that. And it was thunderstorm, and thunderstorm almost got me too. And I saw some killer bee was out there too. One of the big bee was trying to fly into me, so I ran out of my garage. And trying to run into the house and at that time it was a big thunderstorm that's I thought it's gonna hit me I was scared you know and then I was and then it was just boom the sound of the thunder storm was like boom because that's like right after I ran out from my garage the killer bee, the killer bees like trying to get into me 
I ran out and then thunderstorm hit and then I was just scared. I dropped down, you know, like I was falling down, like, you know, I was running and falling right in front of my house, in front of the door. And finally, I was okay. And I opened the door, ran, you know, go inside the house real quick. And after that, everything's okay. I sit down here, I open this attic. And then I sit down for a few minutes. And that's what happened when I got up and hit it. Okay? That was after that. I got up and hit it. Hit my head on the on the attic. And that's things just getting worse after that. And you know, I have to gather like all my ID and stuff and do my people, you know, drive me to the emergency hospital at that time. At that time, I was calling my um family doctor because I have Medicaid and I never went to a family doctor. They don't really know me and I was calling the doctor to get advice. So I told him I'm going straight to the emergency room uptown instead of his clinic. And I don't think his clinic would be open at that time either. So we went all the way uptown to the emergency room uh, hospital. Got in there and my head was like, you know, it was all wrapped around with white wrap and cotton balls and and I was next thing I know because I was like thrown up inside a car too like I didn't feel real good so I was kind of thrown up inside the car but that day I've eaten like twice I don't know why I just thrown up like just water juice that's it I didn't throw up any food or anything so so then so then I got to the emergency room and they got me in there. I wait for like an hour or two before the doctor, you know, they have to take x-ray and all that on my head. And then the doctor, finally the doctor got into uh, six stitches on my head after that. So it was like 10 o'clock at night when it was done. 10 or 11 at night so he told me it was six stitches i'm like what he said the score was like two inches long i'm like what at that time i would just want to pass out like oh my god and not only i'm worrying about the bill but i'm worried about my life too and guys my life is more important than the money and the bills you know it's just that i'm glad i can keep my life too like you know, instead of the bill. I mean, the bill is going to be high, too. Um, I figured out, like, after that, I call in the billing center at the hospital, and they kind of estimate for me the bill is going to be around, like, two, two, three grand or something like that. Two, three thousand dollars or even more. I don't know yet. But um, I told them I have Medicaid, and they, they didn't even, like, ask for my Medicaid information when I got to the emergency room, you know. So I just wonder if that's, they already know about it or not. I don't know, but when I got there, there's this, another guy came in with a cops on a handicapped rolling chair. And he was like, you got shot on the head? You got shot on the head too? I'm like, I didn't even answer because I was like real weak. I was laying, like sitting down real weak. He was just coming out from nowhere with the cops and turned around and asked me, you know, you just, he didn't ask me. He just said, you, you got shot on the head too? <laughs> and, he, and, then, and then the cop rolled him inside and then he was like, I got shot on the head. Uh, no, he was like, uh, my hair, my hair uh, saved me. He got like big, big old braid hair, you know, you know how they have braid hair, like big braid hair, like a little, like a thick mask on their head. He was like, my hair saved my life. Yeah, I got shot on the head. So he got shot on the head too, on the back or some, something like that. But his hair saved him. That's what he's trying to say. But he seemed like, he seemed like he's energetic. Nothing wrong with him. I don't know if they fake or not, but his, his shirt probably had blood or something. I don't know. I don't know where he's coming from. Like, is he coming from like, a game fight or a shoot now or whatever. I don't know. 
they just happen to roll by and, and say that to me while I'm there. And my accident is from the house, okay? So, I don't know if they trying to if they trying to investigate or whatever. They trying to find out what happened, what's going on with my head, you know. That's what usually happens at the emergency room. They have cops and all that. They trying to find out what happened to you, you know, why you're here. So I think that's what they're trying to find out. They're trying to investigate what happened to me. But I'll tell you, that's what happened to me. That's what happened to me. I, was, I had an accident at home. So that accident was wor wor worse, the worst nightmare ever from this year, guys. And it almost killed me, too. I thought it, it killed me. And <coughs> I had six stitches, and I have to take, like, ibuprofen for pain relief, which I stopped after, like, a few days because that's just allergic to me, give me an allergic reaction, because I'd rather take Tylenol or Advil or something better than Apoprofen, you know, and that's the subscription that the doctor gave me for the next 10 days before I take my stitches off, and the stitches going to be here within 10 days, and, and I stopped taking that pills, it's like a, a pain relief pill. So I didn't feel any pain, so I don't need to take any, like, upper fin pill, you know? I can just regular take two, tal like, I just take Talanon. But the thing is, I am going to go to Texas next week for my cousin's wedding. My cousin's wedding is next week, guys. I'm going with my dad. So we're flying to Texas. And next Monday, I'm going to have to go to my fam family doctor to take the stitches off. Before I fly, so Monday I take the stitches off at the fam family doctor, and then Wednesday we're flying to Texas. Just like that, guys. It makes me feel like, you know, I didn't want to do all that from the beginning. It's like, it's like you never know, guys. So you got to really take care of yourself. Like, I keep saying I need to take care of myself. But, like, things just happening for a reason and out of nowhere, you know? Like, things, like, accident like that, I wouldn't even think of any happenings. And it's like, why is so many things happening to me at once this year, you know? Like, I just feel like, I just feel like really, really down out of, out of, you know, out of the, out of the earth, you know? And uh, no one's really know except my my people, you know. And I just want to make a video sharing with you guys what happened to me lately. And you know, it's the age too. I don't know the old saying on my uh, my old saying on my uh, country saying, you know, uh, it's about the age too, like. The even and the odds age, like if you're 31 or 21 or 23 or 33, that's what happened. Like that's the bad year for you, you know, for everyone. That's that's what the old saying, okay? I'm just going by what the old people say, you know, because it's true too. Like you can't get away when you're 21 or 31 or 41. If you can't get away, then you can't get away with when you're 23, 33 or 43. Or 53, you know, odds age like that, you know, 51 and 53 or 21 and 23, those kind of age, you got to be real careful. Like, from now, I got to be real careful because I'm in my 30s and the 30 is not so lucky either, you know. You're going to have to go through like a lot of pain, a lot of suffering from your life, in your life and a lot of things around you, you know. And that's, that's what's getting to me lately. And, you know, I'm fine at home. I mean, I'm fine when I go to work and working outside and all that. But why is it when I'm sitting inside a room like this and I have been, you know, things like that getting to me and I almost died. Just kind of like Killer B got into me when I was sitting on in the chair, you know, after I finished helping the people at the temple. I was just sitting there for a minute.
And I think that's what happened when I sit down and the killer bees stung me all around my body, but I didn't really know, you know. At that moment, it got into me. And that's what's killing me at that moment. Just like the moment that I st stood up and hit the attic corners. The attic corners uh, on the woods, you know. The attic corners, it, it, there's a wood. It's, it's made out of wood. And I don't know. I mean, that's just crazy. That's just weird, you know. Like, I'm fine when I go out there and work and all that. Nothing wrong when I work hard and all that, but when I'm sitting in the room or doing nothing, then life just get into me. That's just crazy, guys. I mean, I'm trying to be as positive as I can, you know, all the time. Like, I'm a positive person. Like, I'm an energetic, I, you know, I'm a socialized person. I'll go out and talk with anybody, you know, having fun, having a good time. You know, I'm a positive person. But, like, why negative things just keep happening to me? Like, things like this just, just keep coming to my life, you know, this year. And, I mean, I can't do nothing about it. That's natural. That's a natural thing. You can't help it, you know. The killer bee got into me or accident like this or, like, accident when a car hits you or whatever. You can't help it. So... I know that I can't do nothing about it but waiting for the bills and I know the bills gonna be real high too and I just hope the Medicaid people I need to talk with my uh, worker too see if they can help me lower the, the the bill down other than that I'm gonna have to pay like a few thousand dollars but you know how hospital is they'll let you pay up to 60 months with like a, a minimum payment or whatever so basically if a bill is like three thousand dollar I have up until like five years which is 60 months to pay all of that. So like $50 a month or something like that. And that'll do it. I just got to have to work and pay for it. But there's so much thing I want to buy in life that I really don't want to use my money on that, you know. And it seems like I have to use all that money for what I've been through, like my medical bills and all that. And I can't buy me a new car or whatever I want to buy because I have to work and make money to pay that bills too. I mean, it's going to take time. And during that time, I'm going to have to like be real careful too on whatever I do and wherever I go, seeing whoever, what people I see. I mean, it could be anything that's killing, you know, that's going to kill me. It could be anything really in this life. <laughs> Same with everybody else. Same with any of y'all out there, okay? I'm not trying to scare you guys, but that's how life is, you know? You got to be real careful, like, extra, extra careful. Like, after this, I just want to live my life, like, slowly. I just want to take my time and live my life, you know? Like, take my time every day. And I know this going to take, this is going to make me live slower because I have to work to pay for my bills and everything. I have to actually 